All right, so pretty interesting. 48 hours, I managed to continue to run. Uh, I scratched the shit out of my eyeball. Uh, left my contacts in too long, so I've been like, I've been struggling, man. I even had, I was worried I had an infection because I thought I might have had a fever from the the irritation in, in the eyeball. But uh, I've been really light sensitive, so I've been walking around all day like some hungover bastard with sunglasses when it's just a matter of, I can't fucking, I was nauseous from the lights driving over from just uh, the four miles I had a really hard dri time driving I was I couldn't keep both eyes open very very well I was a little nervous about it so I took my time um, after work and ended up going to Insuboka for happy hour had three fish tacos and two PBRs the total was five dollars and forty six cents I left a five dollar tip and I got out of there dicked around a little bit more drove down here laid down had a, a, a rather tall, well, more than a shot's worth of Irish whiskey and took my contacts out, laid down, listened to Emeralds by Genetics, or Genetic, a little bit relaxed and felt fucking terrible, laid down, uh, was kind of going in and out of sleep when uh, Tish told me the neighbors were wanting to know what's up and whenever we caught up with Tiara, Told her about the last 48 hours being on, being in Roanoke. Told her a little bit about that, and then while I was up, I said, "Fuck it, I might as you know, might as well not fuck it up." Because today I needed to run and lift, and I hadn't done either. Even though this morning when I got back from Roanoke at about 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, well, I got back last night, but I got here to the house at 10 o'clock this morning. Mowed the fucking grass, got ready for work, did laundry, did all that stuff. Hell of a day of taking care of business for sure. But I still got a kettlebell workout that I got. I got put in real fast before my heart rate goes down after this run. The runs, the runs are getting, the runs are getting pretty interesting. Uh, people, hey Tazaria, people are recognizing me on the street. I, I, I had a, I had a young fella, probably about my age. I don't know, maybe a little younger. I suspect jog with me, and it was pretty hilarious. Uh, jog with me for about a block, and he's like, where are we going, where are we going? And I'm like, 4th Avenue all the way down, and he's like, all right, all right. And he ended up turning back around. I got people, you know, there's a couple houses where I, I've interacted with them enough that I'll wave when I run by, and I get like a whole, whole little, it's, it's pretty cute. I see kids playing, like uh, young, young boys uh, playing basketball together, like uh, on the, on the, on the drive, like well, on the sidewalk, leading up to the house, like uh, going back and forth and doing drills with each other, trying to trick each other out and stuff. And I get to see—I don't know—this this, this run, I got to see a lot. It's kind of feel like it was a little cooler outside. And I've been running around noon. I I like running when it's really fucking hot. So, but tonight I got to see more people.
So, this is like the first little round. Feel pretty good. I'll catch my breath a little bit. I need a beer, a cigarette, or something. But, didn't quite prepare. So, this is definitely the one of the better temperatures I've done one of these on in a while. I guess that makes a difference. Even though I thought I was going to do more, I felt like when I hit 50, the, the 50 mark on push ups, I felt like I was going to get to 85 or or so, but I felt like 75 is where I needed to hit. I've been able to get a little higher than that a couple times, a false count, but 85, I've hit a, a couple times just throughout the day when I go down. It's weird, there's different peaks throughout the day where I feel like I can, just, just depending, I don't know, there's like different, I suspect, hormone levels throughout the day. And just, uh, I don't know, an attitude thing. Occasionally I can, I can crank out 50 like I used to 20, but 75 like I used to 50, and then I can, I can squeak through the, into the 80, 80 range. But after, I ran r rather hard this time uh, because it was cool, and I was trying to keep my cadence up. Uh, the, the turnover rate, I'm trying to keep my turnover rate, and I was trying to time it with three steps per breath, uh, occasionally two, it just depends. And I was trying to really relax my my hips and spread my stride, so I felt like I was running rather fast. I've been forgetting the lawnmower pulls, so I'll try to do those this time too. Ah, this shit's killing me. The goal, the goal of these is just borderline. Uh, not going all the way to complete fatigue, but approaching it and feeling like that's where I need to, I need to skim the surface of of muscle fatigue with the reps. Feeling like okay. the last few are gonna be hard. 30, 30 is a pretty good number, 20 is a pretty good number. At least with this weight. Um, like I've said every fucking, the last several videos I need, I need one that's slightly smaller for shoulder work. Any one that's probably a little heavier for some of what I'm or it just doing. I, I probably should go up another five pounds. But I think instead of doing that, I just need to um, add, add a few more exercises that use the same muscle groups after I've recovered a little bit. But that said, I'm fucking wore out right now and I just, I'm just gonna do a pretty light, light 
couple sets just to kind of have a little more motion, but they're not going to be super strenuous like the that first go. And I am absolutely sweating my ass off right now. I'm, it's just pouring off me. Um, I'm also a few pounds easily. Ideally, I would have a sauna at this point. I'd run, run a couple reps and then I'd hop into the sauna while my heart rate was still, still up. And uh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes as much as I could stand, depending on how hot, hot it was, how good a sauna it was or is. And I think you just you have right after you get a sauna, you says, these are facilities I don't have access to anymore, unfortunately. Where you have a locker room shower, you go hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold with the entire set. After you pop out of the shower or out of the sauna, you go right to a cold shower. Cool off, go to a hot shower, heat up a little bit more, go to a cold shower. You do that. Last one's a cold shower basically just walk through and then go right back to the sauna. I don't feel like doing the rest of this shit. I've... Fuck it. I just don't want to fucking do it right now. Done enough.